Look at him, patiently awaiting his turkey. <laughs> this is one of your favorite holidays, isn't it, buddy? Yes. Turkey day. Hi guys, it's Daryl with the Allegheny Mine Living Channel. Well, it's Thanksgiving Day 2016. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful Thanksgiving. Just out for a walk in the woods today, scouting around, seeing how these deer are moving, and uh, figured I'd take the old Stevens for a walk. It's my old uh, Stevens Browning Model 620, 16 gauge. One of my favorite shotguns in the world. It's old, it's got character, it's a, probably about a 1953 model, I'd say. Nice walnut, nice bead on her. Yeah, it's raining out here. But, we're just out for a walk before Thanksgiving dinner. Um, curious to see what's going on with the deer out here. I haven't had much time to get in the woods, so we're gonna take a walk down to the uh, ladder stand where I was flintlock hunting and see uh, what's going on down there so let's head down that way we don't have a whole lot of time see if there's any good sign or not see if that's where we're gonna hunt for the first day or not on Monday so let's go see well we didn't get very far but uh, there's our first rub I'm sure there's another one around here somewhere there's an old one Definitely a small buck, but yeah, I think that one's last year's. Buck's working this again now, so that's a good sign. We're literally like a hundred yards away from where I just walked from. Boy, it's uh, wet and foggy today. It's one of them damp, chilly days. Should have wore a coat. You can see where the homestead is. Right down there. Just looked ahead and there's another one. That one's fresh. He's definitely working this trail. As long as I can remember, a buck has worked this trail. They just, they love it up here. It's always a night time, but uh, they do work it. Here's where the bench starts, right here. And then it just continues to widen out. They love laying down there, so. That's the type of day they'd be laying in there, too. We'll see. Try to be quiet. Here's a better look at that bench. You can see how it's starting to wide out. And they just they love this bench they always feel secure down here this stinking rain all the snow melted on us i know what's going to happen the minute i shut this camera off we're going to jump these deer i just don't know it That's the way it always goes i haven't used the action camera in so long and it's dead i didn't even think about it should have charged her up well Maybe we can sneak up on them. We'll see what happens. I'm going to stay on the top up here. Sometimes I can slide up on them. Down that way when the bench is where the stand's at. So we're heading that way. Working our way down through. There's the field out there. And that buck's working his way down through. There we go. Oh, there's another one. 
getting closer to the stand. The uh, signs are getting better. Let's see where we're at. There's the uh, girls' old teepee they built years ago with my good rope. <laughs> Curious to see if he's been working the line down here by the power line. Or there's another rub around here somewhere that's kind of hiding on you sometimes. There's another one. Boy. I'll tell you what. Some encouraging signs so far. Know for a fact there's uh, at least two big ones. The one I seen on the last day of muzzleloader in the moonlight. Never seen him again, so we know he made it. And he was big enough that we'd know for sure if he was killed. Hopefully my stand's still down here. Head down over the hill here. Shut this off for a minute so I don't break my neck. Now well, we're down over the hill now. This is the ridge up here where the rubs all are, where they always run across the top. Now we're down in. This is right about where I come up on those deer and muzzleloader season last year that was still pitch black up. And right there's the stand. So nobody snuck up in here and stole it anyhow. That's good. I've had them stolen before. I don't have this one locked up. It'd be my own dumb fault if I did steal it. The thing is, if I can't steal them, they just destroy them. So. People are jerks. I don't know why. I'd have never done that to somebody's stand, you know? It looks like everything's good on it. I left my pads on there. I forgot all about that. They're probably all beaten down from the sun. Straps need tightened up. I'll have to get her into uh, shape. But she's pretty much ready. There's the power line. I'm thinking this is where I'm going to hunt the first morning anyhow. There's definitely some encouraging sign. Comes a chippy. Well, it went somewhere. I'm surprised there's a chipmunk out. You know the squirrels aren't out today. Let's hope maybe they're running into our turkeys. They're roosting around here somewhere. They're out in the field almost every morning. All turkey come back in today. Like I said in the last video, that was always a big tradition going out turkey hunting on Thanksgiving morning. If I seen a turkey today, I probably wouldn't shoot it anyhow. We have one in the oven, we don't need another one. Down here is our big buck robe from last year. Let's see if he's... Oh, wait a second. That's not the same tree, that's a different tree. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Oh, yes. Yeah, the size of that. Yep. Here's the tree from my. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh boy. There's the stand. Right there. I'm 
tell you where we're going to be on the first day. He hit that tree. Oh, I'm very happy seeing this. See, this is the one he was rubbing on last year. See, it's already growing in. Look at the gouges and everything. It's the one I showed you guys last year when I was out preparing for muzzleloader. Man, that's a good tree right there. That's a decent buck. Decent buck. That's probably one of my good ones. Very encouraging. The only problem is seeing them in the daytime. These deer are very intelligent. He's definitely working up through here. Though. This is where they, they come up across the fire line right here. You can see. Here's one of the trails. That rock right there is where I was uh, posted up first week of rifle last year and I had a little buck come up through here. I couldn't tell if he was illegal or not. He might have been a little six or a little five. Got to have uh, two points and a brow on one side. Points got to be one inch or longer. But he was so small he was questionable so I didn't bother. It's not that I'm too proud to shoot a small buck but I want to make sure he's legal. guys long overdue I'm gonna start working my way up towards the homestead here I don't want to be lingering around here too long keep these deer feeling nice and secure I gotta say I'm very happy with what I found down in here though. Right back there where my gun's pointing to. Some nice rubs. That's where I'll be Monday. About 20 feet up there. Very, very pleased with these signs. Doesn't mean I wouldn't see anything. But it tells me he's still in here. That big fresh rub this year is on a tree that he started nicking at last muzzleloader season. And I can tell you with about 98% certainty that would be the same buck. So Whether I see him or not, who knows. They run at night, especially when the pressure's on. I know one thing, I would have loved to be able to hunt this with the bow down in here because I guarantee you'd see him at least. Hopefully the rut's still lingering a little bit. In fact, I'll probably be uh, putting some doe yarn out and whatnot. I have some really good stuff from a old friend that had a farm. They used to harvest it, and uh, I used to use it archery all the time, it was good. Well, I'm going to get up out of here, start working my way back at homestead, because it's about turkey time. I'm sure my fire needs some wood thrown on it. It's a very cold, damp day, don't want it to get cold in the house. up here and uh, get out of these woods let these deer be we'll be back soon enough so
chilly out there. Oh. Dog hears me. She's got a shock on. <laughs> okay, I'm patiently awaiting this turkey. <laughs> this is one of your favorite holidays, isn't it, buddy? The aftermath. I know, but the top of it. Oh, is a good buddy? How was your dinner, Bert? Jeez. that's part of the deal one day well I do it more often one day a year but eat entirely too much food oh it's a good day though we uh we have a lot to be thankful for that we do very lucky everybody's uh pretty healthy and uh it's a new baby in the family they just left actually they just went home, little baby Nolan, and uh, yeah, we got a lot to be thankful for, so it's great. I'm very thankful for everything we have, you know. Your health is everything, so. I'm also very thankful to see the sun we've seen out in the woods today. That's uh, very encouraging. Very encouraging. Uh, Especially seeing that that buck's working those rubs again down by the stand like he was last year. That uh, makes me very hopeful that uh, maybe we'll get a glimpse of him one day. That would be nice. It would be nice if he'd step out and uh, make, himself, make himself shown to the world, shown to us. He's a very elusive... Uh, as soon as they start feeling pressure, they just they go nocturnal. You don't see them, you know. So we'll see what happens. I'm not getting my hopes up too much because I know how it is in rifle season. So it's, it's a crapshoot. But if I got a if I got a chance anywhere, I got just as good a chance there. By the looks of the sign and everything, and I know there's bucks in there. I've seen them. You know, it's a good spot. It's just you don't see them all the time. So. It's kind of bittersweet if I shoot a buck Monday or you know in the two weeks I'm not going to be able to go muzzleloader flintlock hunting. But I am using the uh, inline muzzleloader so I've never been able to kill a buck with that inline yet. Shot some does with it but uh, never shot a buck with it. I need to get that out to the range I'm thinking maybe tomorrow we'll go up to the sportsman's club and uh, take some black powder and some supplies and uh, maybe do some shooting shoot some video i uh picked up a new box of sabots last night on the way home 250 grain kind of like a ballistic tip i usually shoot uh, hollow points out of it i think they're rain or ballistics but uh i'm gonna give these ones a try they're uh 10 grains heavier so i might have to bump the scope a little bit but uh, we'll make her work and I just want to shoot it. I didn't use it at all last year. I used the uh, Savage 325 3030 
because I hadn't used it in a long time. I usually use the Sin line for, I've been using it for the last probably five years, other than last year, for buck season. Uh, I just, I like black powder, and it's, you know, you get one shot, so it's pretty challenging. Something different, so. So I guess we'll leave the video here. I uh, mainly just want to take you guys out today with me and uh, see if uh, there was any signs out there, you know, see what the deer are doing, and uh, it's pretty encouraging. A lot of small rubs and uh, some nice ones, nice bigger rubs down there, so that's good. Hope you guys all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, you won't be seeing this video today. Hopefully tomorrow you'll see it. So I hope Thanksgiving was great for all of you. Just want to say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. Just want to thank everybody for all the support for the channel. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget you guys can follow us on Instagram if you want. At uh, Allegheny underscore mountain underscore living. Uh, you can send mail to Allegheny mountain living. P.O. Box 75, Mineral Point, PA 15942. It's always in the description down below. Uh, don't forget, if you guys like the videos, please give me a thumbs up. That helps the channel out. Helps uh, helps rate the videos a little better. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, plenty of videos on the channel as of right now and plenty to come. I'm not, not stopping anytime soon, so... I'm sure there'll be plenty of projects and homestead videos and hunting and fishing videos. So. It's all about the uh, Allegheny Mountain living, like I called the channel, you know. It's just our lives, the country living, you know, homestead here and everything. So appreciate all the support for the channel as always. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next video, probably at the uh, gun range, I guess. That's what I'm thinking. We'll see. But... Uh, so I guess we'll leave her there. Uh, hope you guys have a great evening. Play around, watch your football, whatever you do. Spend time with your family, enjoy. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until next time, have a great evening.